Hi everyone, welcome to this new tutorial on how to create an event calendar for your website. So this is what we're going to design in this video. We have the year over here and uh, then the events are displayed over here. And uh, then I will show you how to add this to your blogger and your WordPress website. So let's get started. So as always, we'll start by writing our code in VS Code. So before getting started, I just wanted to show you that this is also responsive. So we can see that it will look like this on a mobile device. So let's go to VS Code. This is the code editor that I'm going to be using in this video. So first of all, let's create a new file and uh, we'll name it index.html. Then we'll create another file called style.css where we'll write all the CSS. Let's start by writing the HTML. So in VS Code, you already have an extension called Emmet install. So you can just type exclamation and press tab and you'll get this HTML5 boilerplate code. We'll just change the title over here. And uh, we'll also link our CSS file. The first thing we'll do is we'll create a division to contain all the events. So we'll create a division with a class of event container. And uh, in that we will have an S3 with a class of year and uh, in that we will type the year. So here we will type 2020 and then for the event we will have a class called event. In the event division we have two sections. On the left we have the date and on the right we have some content. So we will create a division with a class of event left and also a division with a class of event right. And in the left section, we'll create a division with the class of event date. And in that, we'll have the date and the month. So we'll type date and uh, we'll just type a random date over here. And then a division with a class of month and we'll type a random month. And then we'll move on to the right section. So on the right, we have an S3 with a class of event title. And uh, we'll just type some title over here. And then we'll have the description of the event. So we'll type event description. And we'll have some lorem ipsum text. And then we have the event timing. So for the timing, we also have an icon. So we will add an image over here and then we'll have the timing. So we'll type an IMG tag. And we already have an image inside this folder called images. So we will add that over here time.png. And uh, after that, we will have our timing. All right, that's it with the first event. Now let's open this with live server and see how it looks. So this is how our event looks right now. Let's create some more events. So I'll just copy this whole event and uh, just paste it a couple more times. So this is how our page looks right now. Let's add one more year over here in between. So just copy this S3 from here. And after two events, we will have another year. So just change this to 2021. And let me just change these dates. Right, that's it with the markup. Now let's go ahead and start styling this page. So we'll go to our style.css and uh, we'll start by targeting the event container. And uh, we'll give it a font family of Roboto and Sans Serif. And we'll give it a max width of 800 pixels and margin zero auto to center it horizontally. And then we'll target the s3 so we'll type event container s3 dot year and we'll set the font size to 40 pixels and text align it to the center and border bottom of one pixel solid b1 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 now let's target the event class so event container dot event first of all we'll give it a box shadow of 0 pixels, 4 pixels, 16 pixels, minus 8 pixels, RGBA 0, 0, 0 and uh, 0 0.4 
and we'll also set the display to flex so that the divisions will be one next to the other and we'll also add a border radius to give it rounded corners of 8 pixels and also give a margin of 32 pixels top and bottom 0 pixels for left and right now let's target the event left so we'll tap event event left and we'll set a background color of dark gray and a minimum width of 82 pixels we'll set the display to flex align items to the center and justify content to the center and we'll also change the color of the text to light gray we'll give it a padding of 8 pixels top and bottom 48 pixels left and right and we'll set the font weight to bold and the text align to center and we have already given a border radius to the event division but uh, since we have this event left inside that and we don't have any border radius so it is not showing up over here so let's add a border radius to the top left and uh, bottom left corners so 8 pixels 0 0 and 8 pixels now we'll target the date division so we'll tap event event left dot date and for the date we'll have a font size of 56 pixels and uh, we'll target the month so event left month and we'll give a font size of 16 pixels and a font weight of normal now let's target the right section so we'll tap event event dash right and we'll set the display to flex and uh, flex direction to column and uh, justify content to the center and also give a padding of 0 for top and bottom 24 pixels for left and right now we'll target the event title so we'll type event event right s3 dot event title and we'll set a font size of 24 pixels and uh, we'll give it a margin of 24 pixels 0 10 pixels and 0 so for the top we have 24 pixels of margin and for the bottom we have 10 pixels of margin and we'll set the color of the text to 218 BBB and we'll also set the text transform to uppercase now the style the event timing so we'll type event event right event timing and we'll give a background color of FFF8BA and we'll set the display to flex and align items to the center justify content to the center and we'll give it a width of 100 pixels and a padding of 8 pixels we'll also set a border radius of 16 pixels and a margin of 24 pixels and 0 and we'll also set the font size to 14 pixels now let's target the icon so we'll type event event right event timing img and we'll give it a height of 20 pixels and also give it a padding right of 8 pixels alright that's pretty much it with the design of our event calendar now let's make it responsive as well so that even the mobile users can have a great experience now let's add a media query to make it responsive so we'll type at media and we'll set a max width of 550 pixels so when the width of our page is less than 550 pixels then uh, these styles will be applied to our page so we'll type event and uh, we'll set the flex direction to column so we can see that the sections are one below the other now let's target the event left and we'll set a padding of 0 and border radius of 8 pixels 8 pixels 0 0 so now we can see on the top left and the top right we have the border radius now let's target the event date
Now we want to place the date and the month one beside the other. So we will set the display to inline block. And we'll set a font size of 24 pixels. We'll set the same style to the month as well. So we'll just type comma, event, event left, event date and month. And lastly, we'll also give a padding to the event date division. So we'll set a padding of 10 pixels and zero. All right, that's it with the design of our event calendar. So we can see that this is how it looks. And uh, this is how it looks on a desktop. And that's basically it for this video. In the next video, I'll show you how to add this event calendar to your blogger and your WordPress websites. So I'll also leave the link of the source code in the description below. So if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.